Welcome back to The Condo Expert. You're listening to Linda Pinizzato here at the station of the Hayes FM in Mississauga. Now we talk about children, youth, even young adults, and what do we want to think about? We actually want to think about physical fitness. You know, you, know, you can develop your mind, and our schools certainly take care of that. But the physical aspect of our education system nowadays is somewhat challenging. Why? Because budget cut. You know, it's tax time right now. April's a tough month. We think about financing, don't we? And the problem is, is that does our education system have enough money to support proper physical fitness programs other than, you know, maybe uh, one of the, I guess I remember when my children were young, mind you, it was quite a while ago. They, uh, of course, had gym, you know, once or twice uh, a week type of thing. And then, of course, you know, you've got to put in so many different curriculums in the program that you may not be able to focus as much as you should on physical activity. And what does that do? It may drain our health system as these children get older. So think young. All of you young adults out there, pay attention. You know there's a fab fantastic gymnastics center. It's called Schlegel's Gymnastics Center. It's actually located out off of uh, on Wycraft Road at 220 Wycraft Road, and, and that's actually in Oakville. We're very fortunate today because we have Alfie Schlegel, who's the director of Schlegel's Gymnastics. Thank you for having me. Oh, well, welcome. It's great. I know you're running such a fantastic program. It's really, maybe you can give us some insight because I know yep. you've got children starting from a very tender age. Well, I actually started the program along with my younger sister, we were both national team athletes, Andrea, a rhythmic gymnast for Canada, and myself, an artistic gymnast for Canada. So we opened up this business, and here we have young children. What do we do with them? Neither one of us were married at the time or had children of our own. And it, it's been quite a transformation over the years because, of course, today I have three children, ages 12, 11, and 8. And from the time I started to where I am today, I believe we've gone through quite a transformation in my own gym. Just the information that I had as an athlete, as a national team athlete, what I defined as gymnastics to how I see my sport today and more importantly how it can help young children and just hearing you talk about the school system and gymnastic programs or physical activity programs our focus in our gym is recreational and it's fun fitness fundamentals which our sport we believe is the core of all sports anything you do inside a gymnastic facility can translate outside the walls to any sport your children may venture into. Oh, absolutely. Well, I noticed myself, like I, you know, I mean, if you think of, you know, your technical skills as far as hand movements and foot movements and balance and, you know, all of those things, you're interacting, are you not? Physical, all, all the time. Physical aspect with mind, because, you know, if you think about, uh, as you know, my children are involved in hockey. I was out last week, actually, because my grandchildren are involved in your program and my daughter-in-law was there and I was just absolutely amazed at the movement that they're, the, the development in their movement, you know, pulling away from the word gymnastics for a second, but the development in their movement, um, you know, their fingers and their, their balance and anything of that nature. Absolutely. Um, and you have to, yes. sometimes you have to, uh, some of the dads get nervous about the word gymnastics and some, and some of the moms, uh, quite frankly, because, you know, uh, interestingly, what my sister Andrea and I have experienced over the years is when people ask, so what do you do? in in gymnastic classes because sometimes they're the ones that were just watching the Olympic Games mm -hmm. and we know that just from hearing some of the comments that they make and we're, we pull back quite a bit. We're starting with the foundation of the sport, the mm -hmm. fundamentals, what is so important, especially for your grandchildren who are two years old for Pete's sakes, is trying to hook them, trying to hook them in an activity that is well-rounded, head to toe, not only physically, but socially, mentally. Mm -hmm. It's uh, the program that they're involved with is really preparing them for school. It is getting all those very important foundations and, and uh, body movements ready for their brains and body. We've taken our sport and physical literacy is uh, coupled with literacy. Mm -hmm. And the things that we do in the gym, pointing out colors, shapes, um, numbers, it's really preparing their minds. And what better way to do it than balancing out the body and the brain. And oh, that's absolutely. what we've tapped into. Well, absolutely. And, you know, I mean, on the physical side, the strengthening of their bones and so on. But interesting that you're, you're you know, one thing that really caught me immediately. I mean, you had about, I think there was a, maybe uh, 12 
about a dozen children yeah. inside the gym at that time. And uh, I found that the minute that the instructor turned around and said, no, it's not your turn bang, <laughs> you know, they, they realize, okay, it's not my turn, right. you know, because there's the other side of it is that a team role player right. type of thing and being able to share and understanding how to share. And that sets you off in the right path sure. immediately. And they're two years old exactly. and, and you can start it now. It's exactly. okay. I hear a lot of parents, oh, we're not, we're not ready. You know what? It's one hour a week of their lives where we can become the program that's slightly more structured than playtime at home, playtime in the park. And I learned this. I mean, for me to be able to talk about it now, it's through the development of my own children. The program that I started at 18 months, I didn't have it before I had my daughter, Olivia, who is now 12 years old. I started that program with Olivia thinking, okay, mm -hmm. I have my own daughter here. What can I realistically do that will help this child down the road? And I found there was a heck of a lot we could do in the gym to nurture her body and her brain. The 18-month program was born. So it was through my own children and my two boys, who are now ages 11 and 8, coming up with the idea of let's put all the boys together. There are some parents out there that, ah, I don't want my, my son doesn't <laughs> want to do it with this little girlfriend. You know, so we've developed a boys program, an eight and nine year old class, a teens class. But that all came through the development of the program. It didn't happen on day one. It came with time, maturity and knowledge. Well, you know, I mean, you, the diversification inside the gym is something else as well. I mean, you've got one where you have a, a wall that has rock climbing. Yes. Yes, the Swiss <laughs> and Alps. That's it's from my perfect. heritage and I the love Schlegel's it. flag. Yes, yes it's, it's yes. really, it's awesome. Yeah. And then you've got another section is almost like a, it is, it's actually a, an obstacle course. Right. And they've got to run the obstacle course. And, it's circuit uh, training. It's circuit training. We're keeping training. the kids Definitely. moving. We're keeping them engaged. We're mm -hmm. giving them ideas and movements that they're having fun with that they can dive into more importantly things that they can accomplish on their own I'm not a believer in lifting children hoisting them up on the rope climbing station making them figure out what do I need to tweak on in my body right. to make this happen giving them the proper uh, tools to understand how their body can move and work not giving them a false sense of security and no they don't need to have Nutella sandwiches to climb a rope so making sure that these these kids understand right. what they're doing even from a young age we have to give them a little bit more credit I I particularly love doing the adult run classes with the children because it's a time for me and my staff to really educate the parents and make them understand how the world has changed and having a, a great sport like gymnastics to tap into these young minds and bodies and to show them how this is one of the most important sports you can have your child um, uh, participating in it's it's development of brain and body and it's it's one of those sports that will help them outside the gym walls as I said for their skating classes for their hockey classes for soccer and, well that's so one on. thing like you know Alfie as you're talking what was coming to mind for me was the fact that I find that when people hear the word okay and and I just go back and I think maybe that's a mentality that needs to change mm -hmm. when they go back and they think okay fine you know what I'm putting my child in baseball so therefore you only have to have baseball skills that means that you can throw and catch and you can hit a ball and you can run and then they turn around and say, okay, fine, then I'm putting my son in hockey, for instance. So hockey, you can, you know, obviously, um, you know, hand control with the right. stick, and then you have to skate right. and, and so on, and that's that side of it. Then when people think of gymnastics, then they turn around, they categorize that. Right. And then they take volleyball right. and they categorize right. that. And I think that the a, a new, what I'm getting from the conversation is, is that a, a whole new psychology in, in um, sports is to take a look at all the different aspects couple them all together gymnastics covers Gymnast it all. exactly gymnastics yeah. covers it all together but it still has that name gymnastics that people tend to think that it's geared towards gymnastics right. which right. then throws you into the mindset of what you covered right which was you know the Olympic and Commonwealth sport. games Correct. and so on but what they need to do is is say okay fine wait a minute here there's two sectors of gymnastics one is the sector where it's strictly geared towards, you know, furthering a um, development in the gymnastic Correct. world. Correct. And then the other one is it's using the aspects of gymnastics and then taking it towards whatever sport it is that you want to gear into. And you've already had the head start. Well, and I can't tell you how many would that times. Be, but would that be where? It is where? absolutely okay. correct. Because Perfect. Because that's in, what I'm reading. <laughs> you, you, 
you should start uh-huh. in a recreational setting. Exactly. There are many programs out there that will, if, if you will, a conveyor belt sort of takes right. the recreational child, moves them into the start of a competitive program, provincially and then possibly nationally. My program is just solely focused on the recreational side of gymnastics, which I feel you can enjoy from any age right through to adult life. I run adult programs, teens programs. I can't tell you how many times I've had teens who have always wanted to take gymnastics, but they thought, oh, I'm too tall. I'm too this. I'm too that. They can walk through my doors and enjoy it for the first time. There's something for them to learn. There's something for them to enjoy. And we can turn our gym into uh, different atmospheres and playgrounds, mm-hmm. uh, so to speak. We, we talk about playing baseball. You know playing hockey, big part of your life. We don't talk enough about playing gymnastics. And that's what I'm trying to redirect right, my exactly. membership to. We can play gymnastics. And at the same time, the benefits are enormous and what your child will leave. My goal is always um, the child skipping out the door, saying to mommy mm-hmm. or daddy, uh, I can't wait to come back. I wonder what we'll do next next week. And my sister and I um, take a lot of pride in developing really great lesson plans to um, make the program different each and every week and every day for these children. Well, I think that, uh, you know, right now the interesting thing is is that uh, with all of the children in development of what you're explaining, Alfie, is amazing. So what we need to do is we need to tune right into your gym because I know Andrea and my grandchildren are there right now. But uh, before we get into that, uh, insurance policies, we've got to talk about that. Mm-hmm. So everyone hang tight today. I'm talking to uh, Alfie Schlegel of Schlegel's Gymnastics Center, and uh, we'll be right back. Linda Pinizzato. She's not your typical realtor. She's your real estate counselor, teacher, and advisor. Whether it's a house, townhome, or condo, when you're ready, she's your negotiator. With 34 years of experience, Linda guarantees that you have the real estate knowledge you need to make the right decisions. Call Linda Pinizzato at Sutton Group Quantum Realty, 416-561-7373, or visit her at lindapinizzato.com Hello there, you're listening to Linda Pinizzato at the Condo Expert and we're here at the studio at the Hayes FM. I'd love to hear from you. If you have a story, you want to be a guest on my show, give me an email Linda at Linda Pinizzato, P-I-N-I-Z-Z-O-T-T-O dot com You have a wonderful day and we'll talk to you soon. Oh, my computer crashed. Oh no, I've got a virus. Oh, uh, no way, no internet connection. Do you need help? Call IT Mayday. 647-977-7113. ITMayday.com. 